Okay, all right, children. Today we are going to try out and test some materials and see how light passes through them. So for this setup, we need a light source. In this case, we have a torch, and we need um, a device to capture the amount of light that is passing through in lux. Lux is the unit for measuring light. Okay, so we are using the data logger, and of course, it's connected to this device, which will detect the lights okay it's called a light sensor all right so once you have connected this to the channel what will happen is right now the light is shining through you can look at the channel okay it is about 2000 lux all right so the light is being captured if i were to move look at it, you may look at it huh? I, let's say if i move the torch closer you will find that the lux is much higher it's about 5000 but in this case, we want to fix the position at a certain distance. Okay, you will see that there's a string that we have placed here. The string is so that whatever object that we place in between the light source and the light sensor, we want it to be always at the same position to make this a fair test. Okay, so without further ado, we will start with the first paper. We're going to use a white sheet of paper, normal A4 plus size paper. Okay, let's put it in between. I'm going to place it here. Once I've placed it, now let's look at the lux. How many lux is it? It is? 79 okay. lux. Okay, 79. It's a lot lower, but still some light is passing through. It doesn't mean that it's completely blocking any light. Alright? You can see that the paper is opaque, but it still allows some light to pass through. Alright? Okay, next. Let's try a transparency. Okay, this is uh, not transparency actually, it's actually a laminating paper. pouch. Yeah, so it's a laminating paper. You can see that it's probably, you can still see some of the light sensor behind, so it's probably a translucent object. Let's see how much, first before I show you the video, before I show you the results, take a, think, uh, take a moment to think whether this will have less lux detected by the light sensor or more. Okay, ready? Let's see. Okay, we're going to place it here. Let's see how many lux it gets. 1320. Alright, so you can see that it blocks some light, but most of the light can pass through. Okay, next one. Uh, we are going to try a few other objects. Let's try a black a tracing paper. Tracing paper is also, a, is also a translucent object, but let's see whether it captures more blocks more or less light than the previous um, laminating pouch okay. okay it's 822 lux okay so it blocks more light than the laminating pouch huh? all right okay that allows less light to pass through all right next one you just Clear plastic is slightly tinted, slightly tinted with a light grayish color, but you can see that you can completely see through it. So it's a transparent object. So think about it whether it blocks more light or less light. Okay, or you can think about whether it allows more light to pass through or less light to pass through. Okay, let's test this out. Okay. 1,575 lux. Okay, it allows most of the light to pass through. It does block a little bit of light. It can happen, alright, but it does block most of the light. So it allows most of the light to pass through. Okay, we'll try a few other objects just for testing purposes. Now I have a plastic bag here. Okay, can you see the object through? You can see that it seems to pass some light that seems to be passing through here, but you cannot really see the object. So it's actually more of an opaque object. Let's see how much light can block. Sixty-two lux. Sixty-two lux. So it blocks most of the light, but still some light can pass through. Okay, we'll try one more object, which is a cloth. All right. We'll use a towel. Okay. What we call the uncle towel. Good morning towel, huh? <laughs> Okay, so we'll put it here. Ready? 280, 200, 300 lux. 300 lux, huh? So it blocks some light as well. So cloth, even though it is, uh, you might think it is opaque, okay, you can't, but you can still make out of my hand here. This is a thin piece of cloth, 
maybe if the cloth was thicker, it might block more light. So it still allows some light to pass through. Alright. And then let's try one last one. We started with a white piece of paper, didn't we? Okay, let's try and use a black piece of paper. Now, earlier on, I'm going to show you again. We will use a white piece of paper. Alright. Let's see how much we blocked earlier. Okay, when we used the white sheet of paper, we had blocked about... Now is 67 laps. It's okay, so we are about 67, about 70 laps, okay? Let's try using a black piece of paper. Ready? See whether, think about whether it will block more or less light. Zero laps. Yeah, it's completely zero laps. Now, I wanted to think about it. Think about why the black piece of paper blocks even more light than a white piece of paper. Alright? Then we will discuss this at a later time.